Good morning, Chameleon Wranglers. Today we're talking about bioactive substrate because within a bioactive system, the core of the entire system is the substrate. But when you take a look at this substrate, you'll notice it doesn't look like anything like the stuff that you get from your home improvement store to plant your plants in. So just what is in this and what's the purpose of the substrate? Well, to answer that, I thought we'd better bring on an expert. And so I was able to get Josh Halter to come on and answer this question. You may know Josh, he also goes by the name of The Bio Dude, and he built his entire business on bioactive substrate. And so I'm gonna ask Josh this question. Well, Josh, we are diving into the bioactive arts here on the podcast, and the, the whole center of bioactive is the substrate. But I gotta tell you, you're looking at this substrate, I'm looking at these ingredients. It, it sounds like a lot of stuff. I mean, tree fern fiber, sphagnum moss. Uh, what the heck? Let, let's just start off with and help us understand what's going on there. Uh, first, what is the purpose of the substrate in a bioactive system? So, great question. The purpose of the, the substrate um, is a, a substrate is essentially a compound mixture of selected ingredients as simple or extensive as you want them to be uh, to interact well with your environment to foster uh, you know different types of symbiotic relationships with you know with your fungus your funguses your bacteria and of course your different types of cleanup crew whether it's earwigs springtails or isopods. Now, when it comes to, you know, all of the different ins and outs of substrate and how it works in a bioactive environment, chameleon specifically, essentially it is the catalyst to help set your specific husbandry parameters while giving you the necessary tools when it comes to your ingredient list to be able to provide your living plants, such as, you know, your Shuffalera trees, your ficus trees, or if you're using maidenhair ferns or pothos, or, you know, any, you know, any viney covering plant to make that environment be dense, chameleons like. Essentially, it helps foster proper development of those root systems, um, as well as it maintains itself in a, in a healthy way. So when you look at planet Earth, you know, depending on what part, let's focus, let's focus on, you know, the, the North American continent, whether you are here in Texas, you know, you go into Texas and you dig down into the dirt, you know, you're going to find a lot of mineral content with clay and, and other types of aggregate material, granite, things like that. Whereas we go up into the Northeast a little bit into, you know, Pennsylvania, where I'm from, there's limestone in the soil. Uh, the soil is a lot finer than what it comes to because that's the type of life that that soil sustains. And the mineral content within that soil is meant for the environment in which we're replicating. So essentially, to answer your question, is when you're dealing with substrate, or you can call it dirt, or you can call it media, really, what, or, or stratum, you know, there's a lot of different, you know, names for it. But essentially, at the end of the day, what it comes down to is you are creating a base layer in your living ecosystem that fosters and maintains a healthy balance of everything that you need to happen within that enclosure to maintain a self-maintaining, you know, a self-regulating ecosystem in your tank because put it simple chameleons and other reptiles are wild animals they're not domesticated by any means and when we keep wild animals as pets it is important that we try to recreate their wild habitat as naturally as possible for you know intrinsic and for enrichment purposes and the soil plays a significant role with that I like to think of the substrate when it comes to your terrarium as the backbone of your tank um, because it is the vertebrae that keeps the that keeps the fluid and the spinal cord within everything to function throughout the point A to B. And that's pretty much how I always figured figured it out uh, when it comes to like how I was learning things. Thank you, Josh. Now 
I don't think it surprises anybody that a discussion about bioactive substrate could be a long one. There, there's a lot to unpack there. And so I have an entire interview with Josh and it's on the uh, podcast and the YouTube channel. If you've just discovered this, you can go back to episode one and watch them all the way through. And then subscribe to Chameleon Academy and you'll get the rest of the episodes. I do have another question for Josh and that's about collecting leaf litter. But that's gonna be for the next episode where I actually put together a substrate in my cage and go find some leaf litter. And so I will see you then.